Okay, Courtney, and after you buy all those candles, you're going to need creative ways to wrap them all up. We're going to be doing a lot of gift wrapping this season, so why not wrap the present to look just as intriguing as what might be waiting in the inside? So, Tam Stone is here with Tam Stone Interiors, and you've brought with you some really beautiful creative ideas. Yeah. So, yeah. show us some of these ways, and you said that we can just make gift wrap these creative. And what am I trying to say? You can just <laughs> gift wrap creatively with things that you already have in your own home. Yeah, I approach it like I approach design. So when I work with a client, they always start with something they already have. We add yeah. to it, and we are hoping to make it beautiful. So isn't that kind of the same thing we're doing with a present? Um, in this case here, I notice when I go down to do my Christmas wrapping, I suddenly have different wrapping papers from the different themes that I've done over the years, and uh -huh. I want to create a cohesive look. Okay. So here's a good example here. This is um, a very masculine paper. It's a black with gold. It's kind of architectural. This is another paper here that has some gold in it, and it's just white starburst. And then this is a floral mm -hmm. kind of a color. None of those would go together. I wouldn't even think to use these for holiday wrapping either. Right. And so, but by pulling them together with the common mm -hmm. theme of the gold, what you see over here is that it really creates a crea right. cohesive and interesting look. But what I kept consistent was the gold. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't try to bring in anything else except for that. And I then see. I just embellished it with what I had. Okay. Whether that would be um, some greenery that I've pulled from the yard, or in my case, actually the grocery store. Pine um, cones. You know, ornaments, pine cones, mm -hmm. natural things throughout the, the house. The cinnamon sticks is a great idea too. Right, yeah. And I keep it, I try not to go overboard. We were talking about this with the big bows uh -huh. and all that. Too much of a good thing can maybe be too much of a good mm -hmm. thing. So I also try to mix in there um, maybe the larger bows with a more tailored look. And in this case, you can use remnants. This, I did not have a whole lot of all of those green and white fabrics, so I just had pieces of them. Mm -hmm. I couldn't make a bow out of it, but I could do that little kind some of kind woven of creative pattern. design. Had some leftover sheet music, etc. So the bird over there on the green box, I love because it's an old ornament from um, a tree when I was growing up. We had hundreds of them. We don't use them anymore, and um, now I just use them for decorations. I've like seen that. that more and more. People are redoing the way they decorate their Christmas trees, and mm -hmm. so they use their ornaments to decorate, decorate their packages. Exactly, and it's easy. You just you know use some glue, some glue gun, and when I'm wrapping to get a professional look, mm -hmm. which is kind of what we're going for, I always use um, double-sided tape because it allows what you to not... Double-sided tape is sticky on both sides. Uh -huh. So when you tape it down, I'll just tape this kind of on itself, mm -hmm. you don't have, you don't see the <gasps> you tape don't see on the, the tape. outside. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah. So um, when you're folding something over, fold it over and then use the double-sided tape mm -hmm. and you have a really nice clean, clean line. Um, Really oh. fast. Mm -hmm. You had mentioned these ribbons, and why are these such a great idea? They already have the printing on them. They do, and you can get these from any kind of personalization shop. This one says "Happy Holidays from the Stones." Mm -hmm. That last minute, oh my gosh, I've got to grab a bottle of wine, but I don't have time to wrap it or anything. I can tie a great bow on it, and I'll tie the ornament on it, and it's done. And the nice thing is, is if it's a hostess gift, the tag doesn't get separated. They know who it's from. Great. All right. Thanks for these wonderful ideas, Tim. Yeah. Great. Thanks. I love those ideas. Yeah, they're great. Some other good ideas can come.